And back now with Sunday House Call in our segment, Should I Worry? When we talk about everything that worries us, how do you know if you have food poisoning or if it's a virus? Well, Dr. Siegel, this happened to me and was uh, on assignment down by the border this past week for the O'Reilly Factor. The story, you watch it, 8 o'clock this Thursday yes. on, on Big Bill's show at 8 p.m. Uh, I'm surprised I even got it done. Because I'm in the hotel down by the border there, right? And I get my coffee, get my muffin, I'm okay. Talked to Arthel yes. for a while, yes. called home, got my stuff together, got my eggs, got my toast. 45 minutes later, I'm worshiping the porcelain god. It is <laughs> unbelievable. What did I get? It just hit me, what and then eat? What and I don't know. And then I got a fever on Friday. Uh, I'm on a 6 a.m. airplane. How do you pick this stuff up? He might have gotten it from the airplane. No, no, this is happened right after I ate the eggs. So oh. how do I know if it came from the food I told the hotel or if you, I picked up a virus someplace? Well, I know more information than you've just told, so I'm going to let the viewers in on something. I know that you had vomiting. I know mm -hmm. that it lasted about two or three days, mm -hmm. and I know you didn't take, I think you didn't take any treatment for it. Listen, 48 million cases a year of food poisoning, 21 million of those are something called norovirus. That's what, I'm going to go out on a limb here, that's what I think Eric had, mm -hmm. because the combination of diarrhea, cramping, and vomiting, and low-grade fever in one-third of cases. I think you had a virus. I think wow. you had a norovirus. Now, now how do you get so that? So it wasn't well, food poisoning, you, you don't think? Well, it is food poisoning, oh, Arthel. Great point, because it's actually, norovirus can be in the food. It can be in food handlers. It's wildly infectious. You can spread it from one to another. Eric is very careful. So, of course, yeah. he's using the hand sanitizers, washing his hands. Wash your hands. But you right. know, you're at the hotel where they make the stuff and everyone's grabbing stuff and, you know. The key here is hydration, to, to, to drink a lot of fluids, because you're losing it on both ends. You've got to drink a lot of fluids. You don't take antibiotics for viruses. And even if it was a bacteria, I wouldn't give antibiotics because the studies show that if I give antibiotics early, I spread the toxin that the bacteria is making, and that can make the whole well, thing worse. Well, how about a worse. probiotic? Well, that's a really good idea. You want to replenish your gut with positive bacteria, especially if the bad guys are in there. So I love the idea of probiotics. Well, should everybody be on probiotics? And the answer is no. If your immune system can tolerate this, you're surrounded by bacteria and viruses all the time. You may have been in a restaurant that the food wasn't handled correctly. They have cross-contamination <laughs> between the raw food and some of the fruits and vegetables. And you must have gotten either rotavirus or one of these viruses that causes usually these are short term. Within a few days, you bounce back. You've got to make sure that you drink a lot of fluid. Yeah. The people that are in danger are pregnant women, children, elderly, or if they have someone who has real immune disease like HIV patients, those are the ones at risk. But uh, wash your hands, make sure right. you cook your food, and invest in some good uh, thermometer well, for I, your food. I, 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 I was out sick yesterday. That's why I was out sick. But wait till you see Thursday night, 8 p.m., the rally factor. It was worth me getting, getting sick. sick over there. Yeah. <laughs>